Scene of the crime. If you know, you know. Just a quick chat, really, about um, what we've kind of got coming up. Gentlemen, to the stage. What's up, guys? Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV today. I'm branching out on what I do with my content. I'm branching out where I put it. I'm branching out on the style. I'm branching out on pretty much everything. We're gonna dive a little bit into who, how, why, when, where, everything like that a little bit today. So it's gonna be a great video. I hope you guys are excited. If you are, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, subscribe. If you wanna do all that YouTube jazz, every YouTuber asks because it really, 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 really helps. If you wouldn't normally, please take the time to do so. Let's smash 50. That is nothing. We have 5K subs, 50 likes, come on. We got this. Together we will grow. Enjoy today's video. Careful does it, careful. Oh, I'm a glider, I'm a glider. I am a glider, yes I am, look at that. Two scoops of cereal milk is going down. What's up guys, Liam here, welcome back to LSJ TV. That was a big scoop, that was like two and a half scoops. Or is it still LSJ TV by this point? Who knows? <laughs> Lots of you are thinking, what? Just, just, just stick, stick around. <laughs> oh my God, this, this looks so messy. I have a tidy flat, I promise. There's some misinformation out there about wrecking one, dropping the boogeyman, wrecking one, fighting the boogeyman. Not true, not one big truth. All right. I'm just getting some more work done. Uh, we've got a shit ton of stuff to do today. Um, so the oats going down, a bit of work and a bit of distraction on in the background. Um, anyone that knows me knows that I'm washing this down with some OJ. Put it straight from the car because it's fuck all left. There's less than a glass in here, but it is what it is. I need to do a shot, so anyway. Let's go. chores like this shut up you're gonna get me caught for copyright one thing i like to do is um is, is watch tiktoks when i do things like hang up my boxes you know unfortunately um these kinds of jobs don't do them oh these kinds of jobs don't do themselves however um they are very very boring so i don't enjoy spending the entirety of my friggin day doing it so I like to keep myself amused for, for 20 minutes or however long it takes by watching a few TikToks. Is that just me? You guys do the same? It's probably just me, isn't it? Sometimes I stick a live on so that they just like talk and I don't actually have to look at it because you have to keep swiping if you're on the timeline, you know? But just a just a little insight into the life of a of a single um lad. That lives alone. I'm also using this, which I sit on a lot now. Pretty sick, right? You guys have never really seen this room because it never really tends to get used. So it gets used now for a variety of activities. <laughs> He's speaking German. Everyone. Well, I have no clue who this person is, but she's just lying there and people are just like donating money. Oh cool, I'm from South London. She's 
from the south of London though, and her name's Lexi. Lexi's earning bank for just lying there. Mental. Fair play. Fair fucking play. <laughs> next, next activity for the day. Well, it's not an activity. I've got more work to do. I just needed to do that because adulting, you know. And a um, bit about TikTok shop. Um, so I've seen that you are set up on TikTok shop now. Yeah. Um, and we have added you to the plan. Doing at the minute is getting ready for like our busiest period, which is November. Um, because we have like Cyber Monday, Black Friday, all that going on. We have a lot of campaigns going live, so we really want to have as many ambassadors kind of like tagging products going live during November. So we're kind of seeing our October as a bit of like a trial month. So getting as many people up, up like with TikTok shop. Um, so basically, we're just taking it as a trial. So we'd love you to get involved. I'm guessing you've probably seen some people that go live on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you basically kind of just pick how long you want to go live for. Um, once you've been doing it for a while, most of our ambassadors do about two hours, but mm -hmm. that can be a bit daunting right at the start. On camera and stuff doesn't, like, it doesn't phase me at all, really. I've been doing it for quite a while. Yeah. Like, like I, but yeah. I kind of have done a lot more long form stuff on YouTube and all that kind of stuff, more so than oh, the, that's good, the yeah. kind of short form TikTok stuff, right? But my, my point oh, is, like, good, talk, yeah. talking to a camera is not really a, like, I'd be okay with just doing whatever to be honest with you i want to get involved on the tiktok side of things as much as i possibly can yeah because I, yeah. I just think it's awesome i think it's class anything that you think of or anything that you want to kind of like re specifically yeah. re specifically request from me um i i'll Definitely. be more than happy to, to to do everything i can to to help out you know yeah so. send you over um some of our like best time to go live where we think you'll get the most views revenue that kind of thing um, and then we can also see about having it pushed from TikTok as well, um, if we can. TikTok shop is really new. So TikTok's new, but TikTok shop's even newer. Yeah. And it's something that a lot of people still are learning about. Right, well, I'll send you an email. I'll speak to you soon. Okay, thanks for your time. And I'll, uh, I'll Perfect. Have a good Thank one. Thank you for your time. Again. Sick! My protein TikTok stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Buzzing, man. So that, if you have not already figured out, was a call with, well, I'll put the writing on the screen, but like, that was a call with my protein, or at least the TikTok team, or TikTok people, one of the TikTok people from my protein. I've been with my protein for about three and a half, no, about, about three years now, and contracted for about 50% of that, right? So I've done about 18 months non-contracted as an affiliate, and about 18 months contracted as an athlete right so you stereotypical my protein athlete gym shark athlete alpha lead athlete that kind of thing 18 months of being an affiliate which is not technically the same it is the same in a sense that you work with the company but in a sense of you get a flat rate and a contracted payment from the company about 18 months of that now right so i've been working with them for quite a while but my deliverables for the company are technically just limited to Instagram and YouTube. So as far as my protein are concerned, I am working with them on Instagram and YouTube, right? So it's good for me from, from a personal perspective, from a selfish perspective to be in there, if you like, a bit more with the, the my protein TikTok. There's 430 something thousand, hold on, like, for, like nearly half a million followers on the my protein TikTok, right? So if I can get, hold on, let me, that's, that's gonna bug me, I don't know the actual number, I'm gonna look at it now. Yeah, 454.5K, and that's as of like, well, today, so probably be 455 or whatever tomorrow, you know, so, Anyway, probably more than that, let's be real. Um, getting in on that side of things is a massive, massive opportunity for me to expand where it is that I'm pushing my content. I'm trying to mix things up a little bit. I'm going through a lot of change in my personal life anyway, and so I feel like there's a massive opportunity, a massive sense of of, of desire for change, not only from me, but from you guys as well. People want to see something switched up. They want to see more Best Gym videos. They want to see the stuff that I used to create, the stuff that I used to know and love and do on a daily basis. Things that have had to change over the past six months or the past year, let's say. They want to see those again, and I want to see that as well. 
I want to get back to that and I want to get back to the person that I feel like I was before the whole concussion thing because I feel like for a long time I lost myself and lost who it was that I who I, who I was to be completely upfront with you there's a lot going on or was a, or was a lot it's done now but like there was a lot going on in my personal life that I feel like I kind of lost myself within that, if that makes sense. Um, and so now that that's all done, I want to, to to move past it and potentially change a lot of the stuff that it is that you guys are, are used to kind of seeing. Along with that could be a name change for the channel. It could be a slight strategic change in the way that I do and say things which you guys don't need to worry about. That's all internal, you know? Um, Along with that, a lot more short form content. Things like YouTube Shorts, things like Instagram Reels, things like TikToks, right? So if I need to start pushing things like this, um, I need to do, I, I do need to, and I already have started implementing slightly different strategy on socials um, to, to push that. And to be honest, I've only been doing that for about two weeks and it's already made a drastic drastic difference to the point where I'm not going to go back to what I was doing before. So just to kind of show you what it is that I'm talking about, last night on a TikTok, I had 100,000 views on a TikTok. It now has 226 or nearly 227,000 views. That now has 21,000 likes, 872 shares. It's got a lot of, a lot of traction, right? And it's completely different to what I would usually post. It's slightly more daring, let's say, than what I would usually post. Since that video has gone up, and since the last few kind of concussion things have gone up, we've gone up like 3,000 followers in the past like six weeks on on the tickers. YouTube Shorts, I had two and a half thousand views in half an hour on a YouTube Short. Like that's, that's a lot. I mean, people get that in seconds. There's people out there that have humongous channels, but just look at this, we've got, 3.9, is that 3.9? Yeah, 3.9k views and 2.7, 2.3.6k views on TikToks and stuff. You can't really see, but take my word for it, you know, the, the switch up kind of works. If I hadn't mentioned this, none of you guys would have mentioned, would have mentioned or noticed or anything. It would have been a seamless kind of transition, but I'm making a point because I want this channel to be an open and honest place where you guys can feel comfortable enough to share your thoughts and experiences and I can do the same, right? Believe it or not, talking to a camera really, really does help me at times. It really, really does. I don't have necessarily a lot of people around me right here. I have a fantastic support network, but they're all here, there and everywhere. You know, my family live in Melton Mowbray, I live in Birmingham. My friends, like Jason's just moved, you guys have seen Jason, you know the guy from uni from a few years back, right? Jason has just moved a little bit further away. Not massively far away, but further away than he was, right? Jake, who was also only around the corner, has just moved to Dubai. I'm very much on my own because I live outside of the city. My friends from the gym, even they are in the city. I'm kind of isolated somewhat. Now, I'm not trying to say that like a bad thing. I love my life. I love where I live. I love this flat, right? I don't want to leave anytime soon. I can't see it myself unless the landlord wants to sell up, which let's be real is a, is a possibility. Yeah, that kind of thing happens in life. I can't see myself leaving anytime soon. So now again, I must emphasize, I'm not trying to moan at my life. My life is great. But having this form of communication with you guys and contact from, from people um, and just vocalizing how it is that I'm feeling, the emotions that are going through my head, that can really, really help me. And anyone that makes videos in the same way that I do will resonate with that somewhat. It seems weird and I do understand that. I 100% understand that, but it does, it does help me. So, changes coming in the near future. Potential name change for the channel. My name's Liam, but my name is Liam Harold. Many of you guys know that, not necessarily. You guys know me as Liam or LSJ TV or LSJ Fitness or something like that. There's lots of different things that people can kind of call me. That needs to be somewhat streamlined and it will be over the next few weeks or the next couple of months. So stay tuned for all of that kind of stuff. But my point is I am taking a slightly different route with my content. This will not be changing. Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, every single week without fail, life or death situation is the only reason that I will skip a Wednesday or a Sunday. I've not missed one for six and a half years now. 
I'm not going to start now. I get people telling me, especially because they feel like I'm, I'm close to burnout, which I do understand. I'm talking about it a lot. People tell me to take a break or take a week off. Nah, no way, no chance. I can't let myself, I, I just can't. I probably should, but I just can't. So that will not be changing. This will stay the same. Do not worry, you will not be missing out on anything. But I have now found structure in my life and routine in my life to the point where I can do extra on top of what I'm already doing. So you're going to be getting YouTube shorts on top of what I'm already doing. You're going to be getting TikToks on top of what I'm already doing and you were already getting reels anyway. But I've managed to structure it strategically in a way that it makes sense to do these kinds of things for my content, which it didn't before because of the way that I was doing things and the way that I was saying things. That won't make much sense to you, but to, again, to someone else that makes videos, that will, that will make sense in their minds, right? In fact, I don't even know why I'm rambling about this. Like I say, it really does help me kind of just comprehend what the hell is actually going on. So that's it really, guys. I will be adding to my content, not taking away, um, but there will be a few changes along the way and they're all gonna be for the better, so exciting times here at LSJ TV. Or is it LSJ TV? Woo, you don't know, give it a few weeks. Um, I wanna thank you all so much for your support. If you have not already, and you're this far through the video, please drop it a like, because that is really what's gonna help us grow alongside doing all these things and incorporating all these new styles and things um, into the, the, the content that you're used to seeing. Um, please drop it a like. It really, really helps. And drop a comment if you have not already. Don't care what the comment is. In fact, just let me know what you would like to see from me because I've got bodybuilding shows that I'm gonna be filming coming up. Um, I always talk about challenges, but I never do them. So if you do want any of them, let me know. Any gyms you live nearby for best gym series. Rumor has it there's gonna be a good one opening nearby me. I say nearby, it's like 45 minutes away, but that's not far. I'm done rambling for today though. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, do me a massive favor, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. In the next video, or hopefully the next video, um, you will get to see Derek's WNBF competition. He did rather well. I teased it a little bit at the start, but he did rather well. Job well done, Derek. And with that, ladies and gents, that is it. I will see you all, beautiful people, in the next one. Oh, woo!